I know, I know. Y'all tired of hearing about this whole Will Smith fiasco with him smacking Chris Rock. I know, I know. On the heels of him smacking Chris Rock, things are getting crazy. We know he apologized. We know he resigned from the academy, whatever that means. But now, what's happening to Will Smith? Is it called for? Is the dominant society jumping the gun just a little bit? Because after all, Chris Rock didn't even press charges. Are we now witnessing the canceling of Will Smith? What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Reese Johnson, a.k.a. Mr. Gas, and this is the Gutter and Saint Podcast. And you already know they can't stand me. I stay dropping the facts. I stay bringing the truth. And if it's in the headlines, I'm bringing it to you. Y'all already know my slogan, man. But look, I don't agree with what Will Smith did because in that moment, his wife did not need protection from anybody, let alone Chris Rock. Chris Rock was doing what he always have done and that was tell jokes while hosting the Oscars. And I don't wanna hear he was telling a joke about her non-life-threatening disease because we've been laughing at jokes about Magic Johnson life-threatening disease for the last 30 years. So beat me, miss me with all that. Recently, The Shave Room posted this. Netflix and Sony reportedly place upcoming Will Smith projects on hold. Are we witnessing the canceling of Will Smith over a smack? Hmm. Like, really? Now, again, I didn't agree with what Will Smith did, right? But what bothers me, they are on the verge of canceling Will Smith because he put hands on a man, right? But y'all not canceling Weinstein Productions. They still playing in y'all studios. They still allow folk like Kevin Spacey to work. And he was out here touching kids and women for years. Uh, allegedly, allegedly, I gotta add the allegedly because we know how they like to, they like to sue folk. And, you know, don't come for me. Although this is the actor's most significant legal situation, this is not Spacey's first accusation. The actor has been accused of sexually improper conduct against multiple individuals. In August, the plaintiff's lawyers presented to the court two other alleged massage therapist victims of Spacey and expressed concern for their safety and as such did not want their names revealed publicly in the media. It's almost like black entertainers have to be perfect in order to fit in to the dominant society. I can name a grocery list of folk who should have been canceled for the egregious things we watched played out in front of our own face. Shoot, we all saw the Epstein documentary and all the people that was on that list. list. But anyway, recently I just saw an interview with Jim Carrey with Gail King. And um, look at this clip. I was sickened. I was sickened by the standing ovation. I felt like Hollywood is just spineless, en masse. And uh, it just, it really felt like, oh, this is a really clear indication that uh, we're not the cool club anymore. They asked Chris, do you want to file charges? And Chris apparently said, no, he did not. He doesn't want the hassle. I, I'd have, I'd have uh, for, announced this morning that I was suing Will for $200 million, because that video is going to be there forever. It's going to be ubiquitous. You do not have the right to, to walk up on stage and smack somebody in the face because they said words. And on the heels of that, Amy Schuler and other folk had something to say about how they were appalled and they were they were hurt and they almost like projecting like they are scared of Will Smith all of a sudden. Hey, ain't nobody trying to hear that bull. Non-black folk. Hear me out. Listen, allow these men to work out their differences. Okay. That's how us black people do things. We don't call the police. We don't get the authorities involved. We don't try to sue each other, but us black folks, folks handle things differently. That's the reason why Chris Rock didn't call the authorities or get the police involved. He ain't want them involved because we already know what's up. Y'all fake outrage is getting Will Smith canceled. 
over a smack. But y'all had nothing to say about Weinstein rape allegations and the pedophilia acts Corey uh, Feldman was talking about and all the women Charlie Sheen slept with knowing he was HIV positive. Y'all ain't canceled them. Y'all, 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 ain't, y'all, 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 I mean, y'all ain't do none of them. But when every time a black entertainer get in trouble, Cosby, R. Kelly, Michael Jackson, just to name a few, I am not excusing R. Kelly and them predatory behavior but who y'all think they learned it from the same hollywood elites that y'all are scared to call out but y'all call out cosby y'all call out will smith y'all call out r R kelly yada 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 all the black entertainers but listen here black entertainers i got something to tell y'all why do y'all feel the need to please these people at the oscars at the emmys the the grammys the espies and all those awards why y'all feel the need to seek their approval and validation for y'all gift for your gifts and talents? Y'all talented. Man, it's really time to establish your own. Establish your own awards. Establish your own sports and entertainment, man. It's really time. These white entertainers do dirt and get a slap on the wrist and be back to work the next day. But the black entertainers, when they do dirt, now we not excusing nobody's dirt. They go to jail, they get canceled never to work again. And they become struck back to struggling uh, entertainers. Will Smith, Chris Rock, y'all handle y'all situation and y'all differences without those folk. There is really no reason to cancel Will Smith. We can disagree with how he handled the situa- situation, but it's not a cancelable thing. My bad if I hacked up cancelable. <laughs> but real rap, man, it's not a cancelable thing, man. I heard a pastor say that Chris Rock represents the empty chair. Matter of fact, I'm going to play the clip. If they, uh, the, the psychologist consensus was that basically Chris Rock represented the empty chair. If you know anything about the empty chair, the empty chair represents whatever issue you want to deal with and you direct it there in order to resolve it. I saw me. I saw me. That's why it made me a bit depressed. When you have unresolved trauma, pain, and frustration, it's bound to come out at some point. And you can direct it at family, or friends, even church, people you work with. Let's find healthy ways to deal with our issues. In Will Smith's book, he talked about how his therapist named his goofy side Uncle Fluffy. Will Smith said Uncle Fluffy was the one who paid all the bills. Uncle, his Uncle Fluffy was the people pleaser. Uncle Fluffy was the person that the dominant society in Hollywood accepted. And the crazy thing is a lot of us black folks have an Uncle Fluffy on the inside of us. Our Uncle Fluffy usually come out when we trying to advance in, in, the, in the corporate world, our Uncle Fluffy usually come out in, you know, in entertainment and sports. And I'm going to be honest, I am guilty of channeling my inner Uncle Fluffy, especially when I'm around certain people and I'm trying to accomplish certain things. I, I'm guilty of that. And don't front like you Negroes haven't never channeled your Uncle Fluffy either. I, I be catching y'all in y'all customer service voice. Man, yo, let, let me tell y'all about the time I went to uh, a, a restaurant, man. I, w- I went to a restaurant, right? Sat down. Black boy came up to me. It was like, yeah, hey, what's up, man? And I was like, yo, what's up, man? What's going on and everything? You already know. And um, he was like, yo, yo, what you what, what you having? You know, gave him my order and everything. Everything went cool. Then um, right after that, a white couple came and sat down at the table next to me, right? The same waiter came over, the black waiter. <laughs> but there was a total difference in his approach to them. <laughs> he was like, hey, how are you guys doing today? Would you guys like to try our specials? It's awesome. I looked at him. He looked at me. I bust out laughing. I, I just couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself. He, I don't think he found it funny at that time, right? So then um, when he came and brought my, my food over, right? I looked at him and I gave him a little smirk. He a little smirk. He was like, "Dog, you already know how that go." And I was like, "Man, I already know, man." <laughs> but more to the story is, we all have that Uncle Fluffy living on the side of us, and we all had to channel our inner Uncle Fluffy at one point or another. 
Now, I'm not, like I said, I'm not excusing Will Smith's behavior, but he's probably tired of being a nice guy. You know what I mean? He, Will Smith could be possibly at his breaking point. And his breaking point may have cost him a lot. It may have cost him his career. It may have cost him opportunities. But Will Smith is worth over $100 million. They said, well, three, four, five hundred million million. He'll be all right unless, you know, the lawsuits come in. But I don't think uh, uh, Chris Rock is going to try to sue Will Smith. Um, but Will Smith could have possibly lost uh, out on a lot of opportunities, you know, in, in, in Hollywood. You know, they, they, they look at him as the dangerous Negro. But um, you know what's crazy about that, man? They look at him, oh, I, I've, been, I've been seeing all the trigger words that they've been using. Oh, violent. There's no reason to act violent, right? But here's the crazy thing. America has always acted out in violence in everything they do. Just because y'all have a subtle way of putting on a smile while, while hurting each other, you know, or causing damage to other people in other countries, y'all could do it with a, a smile on your face. That doesn't mean the rest of us do it like that. Some people get angry. Will Smith got angry. And I, I really hope that him and Chris Rock can handle that situation and like the pastor said about that um that empty chair chris rock could have been that empty chair and i really hope will smith get the therapy he need and realize that he can't take out his his displaced anger on other people because he may be angry at somebody else chris rock was once your friend bro he was once your friend you know what i mean and yeah he said a joke the joke to me wasn't even that funny for one it wasn't that funny and secondly he didn't even say nothing directly like bad about your wife he just said that you know he hoped something about the gi the gi jane now what if she really get cast for the gi jane movie and make hundred tens of millions of dollars off of the movie you know, you know it, it, we, we don't know but the joke wasn't the joke wasn't you know a uh, offendable act where you need to put hands on somebody i don't care what none of the, all these people saying black women need to be protected at that moment she didn't need to be protected from Nothing. She was not in no dire danger by no means. I thank y'all for rocking out with me on this episode. I'm your boy Reese Johnson, aka Mr. Gas, and this is the Gutter and Saint Podcast. And you already know they can't stand me. I stay dropping the facts, I stay bringing the truth. And if it's in the headlines, I'm bringing it to you. Do something for Gutter and Saint Podcast. Go to gasmerch.com gasmerch.com where we got the latest and hottest apparel for men and women and children on the way you don't want to miss out on our exclusive merchandise because it's going out the door it's going out the door you better go over there right now and cop up some of that gas merch go to gasmerch.com gasmerch.com hey man i thank y'all for rocking out with me and i holla at y'all on the flip peace